Good evening. A massive search to find an 11 year old girl has now turned to the search for her killer. Search crews found the body of Ashlyn Mike just hours after an Amber Alert was issued. News 13's Marissa Lucetta was live in, in, with the latest. Marissa? Yeah, Jess, the FBI gave us a better description of the man. They say multiple agencies are working to find. The sooner we get this person off the street, the better. Ashland's family deserves nothing less. Now, investigators say they are looking for a light-skinned Native American male, possibly 20 to 30 years old. They say he has a teardrop tattoo under his left eye and earrings in both ears. He was also wearing a long silver chain and gold watch. He was wearing a black shirt and blue pants. Now, investigators say he was driving a maroon minivan with missing hubcaps. After the Amber Alert was issued this morning, hundreds of volunteers came out to help look for 11-year-old Ashlyn Mike. Investigators say yesterday the man took the two siblings as they were playing outside near their home in Shiprock and asked if they wanted a ride. Three hours later, at about 7 p.m., her brother was found on a highway near the Arizona state line. According to the family, the boy says he last saw his sister near the Shiprock Monument. And at about 11 a.m. this morning, search crews found the girl's body about six miles south of that monument. Now, from Sky News 13, you can see investigators out there combing and working the scene to try and find any and all evidence. Uh, this tragedy has shocked the entire community and those who knew her. It's like, what's Ashlyn doing on TV? I said, I don't know, Kylie. And and then she um, she was asking me what kidnapping meant, and I told her, and she she was like, okay, mom. And she's she was like, mom, she's like, you're gonna go help find her, right? Now, we have spoken to a woman on Facebook claiming to be Ashlyn's mother. Now, she lives out of state and says both of her kids live with their father in the Shiprock area. Now, in just about 30 minutes, a candlelight vigil is about to get started, and it's taking place at the San Juan Chapter House near Fruitland. Back to you, Jess. All right. Thank you, Marissa. Once again, here's a description of the man investigators are looking for. He is a light-skinned Native American male, possible 20 to 30 years old. They say he has a teardrop tattoo under his left eye and earrings in both ears. He was also wearing a long silver chain and gold watch and wearing a black shirt and blue pants. Some people are questioning why it took so long for authorities to issue an Amber Alert. Ashlyn Mike was reported missing around 4 yesterday afternoon. State police tell us they did not receive word of the abduction until 1.30 this morning. The Amber Alert was issued an hour later. I should make clear that no Amber Alert is issued until an investigation is done. So there was a comprehensive, exhaustive investigation that was being done before that Amber Alert was issued. The FBI says right now their focus is finding the suspect who killed Ashlyn. Stay with KRQE News 13 for the latest on the search for Ashlyn's killer. We will also be posting updates on our website, krqe.com, and our KRQE News app.